Hello Sagittarius, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into karma. We're going to see what karma the person is currently going through that hurt you when it comes to love. This is someone that hurt you maliciously and intentionally. This reading also does not mean that anyone is wishing karma on anyone else. It doesn't mean that anyone is wishing bad luck on anyone. It's just the law of the universe. You get what you put out, okay? Also, anyone that is cross-watching, please feel free to switch the energies around. This could definitely be the karma of your person, especially if they are a Sagittarius, all right? So, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of the karma that this person is experiencing right now is constant void feeling. And we also have stripped from spiritual gifts, okay? So when it comes to this person, they feel a constant void. I feel like this person feels very alone, okay? They feel as though no one is there for them. They may even feel like, like there's just something missing in their life. They're not completely happy, okay? For a lot of you, this person made you feel a void. I feel as though a lot of you, you didn't know where you stood with this person. They may have even strung you along. For some of you, this person may have even tried to use you is what I'm hearing. Now, when it comes to this person, I feel like spirit is stripping this person from their spiritual gifts because they're not transforming. This is someone that is not evolving. They are gifted just like you are gifted. Okay, a lot of you are high priestesses, but this person, I feel like they refuse, they refuse to evolve. This is someone that's trapped into 3D. They're trapped in the matrix. They don't, it's almost like they don't even want to grow spiritually. Okay, so therefore spirit is stripping this person. If you want to be foolish and still do foolish things and still you know, um, live life lower vibrational, you're going to get stripped. And that's exactly what happened to this person. All right. So we're going to see what else comes out. I'm also going to clarify all of these cards. I'm going to be using the Karmic Consequences deck by Oracle Mystique, the av Avatar High Priestess. You guys make sure that you check out her channel. I will put a link in the description box just in case you guys want to get these cards. And I'll also put a link to her channel as well. All right. So let's see what else comes out. Spirit, give me more in regards to the karma that this person is currently experiencing for maliciously and intentionally hurting Sagittarius and or any cross watchers what karma is this person experiencing currently spirit what karma is this person experiencing currently two more shuffles and make sure that you do check out your sun moon rising and venus signs as well because those readings can give you even more clarity in regards to what this person is going through for hurting you the way they did okay so we have what was done Unto you will be done to them. So whatever this person did to you, and for some of you, it was some type of betrayal. The way that this person betrayed you, they're going to get betrayed, okay? They're going to end up getting betrayed. Give me more. What else is this person currently going through? Paranoia, okay? So I feel as though this person is in a state of paranoia. It could have to do with, if, if you know that this person... um is a drug or alcohol user. I feel as though that's playing a huge role, huge role in this person being paranoid. They're also paranoid in regards to you rejecting them in the future. Give me more. What else is this person experiencing currently? Wow, we have a lot that came out. So we have repeating this lifetime. So as I was telling you guys before, this person is not evolving, okay? They're stuck because they choose to be so for some of you this person's gonna end up having to repeat this lifetime they feel this constant void because they're not getting it okay we all have a path we all have things to learn here it's not it's not just all fun and games and this person they're not getting it so unfortunately they may have to end up repeating this lifetime we also have constant reminders so this person is constantly going to be reminded of you we have unable to receive forgiveness and we have drama, all right? So when it comes to this person, I feel as though 
Spirit may not give them these spiritual gifts back. They may not get it back because they didn't use them properly and they didn't evolve, okay? So when spirit gives you gifts, you need to use them to better yourself and to better, to better others. But this person, like, they're just being foolish. They're not doing anything with their gifts. For some of you, this person brought a lot of drama to your life. So right now, they're surrounded by drama, okay? I heard chaos. So their life is very chaotic. This person, like I said, is constantly going to be reminded of you. They're... The karma this person experiences, it makes them paranoid because they know that some of the same things they did to you is being done to them. It's happening to them now. For some of you, they're even jealous. They're jealous of you. I feel as though they're jealous because they see that you're fine without them. I feel like this person hasn't been happy since, the, since they did you wrong. For some of you, there's going to be some type of illness that may ruin this person's reputation. And for some reason, I'm feeling like it's an STD. Okay. Mm. All right. So let's see what else comes out. Clarify um, these cards for me, spirit. What other karma is this person experiencing for hurting Sagittarius and or any cross watchers when it comes to love what karma is this person currently experiencing spirit for hurting Sagittarius and or any cross watchers when it comes to love all right so let's see so we have the queen of cups so when it comes to this I feel as though they're gonna meet someone they're gonna feel as though they're gonna be a happy family with that person and then that person's gonna leave them behind Okay, that person's going to leave them behind because this isn't you, Sagittarius. So they're going to get involved with someone. They are. And they're going to think that that person's going to be their end all be all. But guess what's going to happen? That person is going to leave them in the dust. Spirit, why is constant void feeling here for the karma that this person is going through? Why is constant void feeling here? Because of their ego. This person has a huge ego. Okay. They're also very selfish. They only care about themselves. This is the type of person that wants people to think they're happy when in reality, they really feel a void. They're not happy at all, especially in regards to relationships. So regardless of who else they get with, they're gonna feel a void. They're gonna be stressed out, okay? And it's because they're not learning their lessons. Why is strip from spiritual gifts here, Spirit? So we have the lovers here. This, you, I'm going to tell you Sagittarius. When it comes to this person, the two of you had a soul contract to do something very important together. I feel as though that's why both of you are gifted. Okay? Which everybody has spiritual gifts, but whatever this person, whatever you were, you and this person was supposed to fulfill a contract. Okay, and they didn't hold up their end of the bargain. They got lost in the 3D. They, they got lost in the matrix. But there's something regarding humanity that the two of you were supposed to do. Okay, you were supposed to use your gifts together. You contracted to do that. And this person, they didn't hold up their end of the bargain. So that's why spirit is stripping them. Because they contracted to have these spiritual gifts along with you so that the two of you could do something very important together. So you could carry out a mission. And they didn't hold up their end. They got here and got completely lost. <laughs> Spirit said lost in the, <laughs> lost in the sauce. <laughs> I don't know why I heard that. Okay, Spirit, why is what was done unto you will be done to them? Why is that here? Wow two of pentacles and we have the ace of cups and that came out crossing so this person burdening you all of the burdens they put you through they're gonna go through those burdens and this person was very indecisive when it came to you i feel as though they had you very unstable or they may have made you feel imbalanced for some of you they were they were refusing to make a decision when it came to you they may have even been juggling they may have had another lover okay so now they're gonna get juggled they're gonna Fall in love with someone and it's going to be a false start. It's not going to go anywhere. So whatever they did to you in regards to love, it's going to get done unto them. Okay? It's going to happen to them. 
Why is paranoia here? Why is that here for this person's karma? Look, five of, five of wands. So there's going to be a lot of paranoia in regards to competition. Whenever they get involved with people, they're going to be afraid or paranoid about others being involved in relationships, in the relationship. Okay? And it's going to stress them out. But see, that's how they did you. For a lot of you, they put you through a lot. This person put you through a lot. And I feel like at some point they may have even encouraged you to let your guard down. Knowing that they had others involved. Hmm. But yeah, they're going to be feeling paranoid. They also feel paranoid in regards to you. They feel like... Even if they were to try to work things out with you or come toward you, like that there's others that will be competing with them in regards to your love. Hmm. Why is repeating this lifetime here, Spirit? Why is that here for this person's karma? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups. So Spirit isn't satisfied. This person, they're not focused. They're not focused on their soul mission. They're not focused. They're not focused. So spirit is not satisfied with what this person has given or brought to the table. They're not satisfied with it. This person has become distracted. So they didn't get, they didn't get it. And with how it looks here, it looks like they're not going to get it. They're not going to get the point. They're not going to get the lesson. Spirit is saying this person has wasted too much time. For some of you, they may have even turned their back on you. When they were supposed to be focused, okay? Because little do they know, being with you was going to bring in a lot of blessings for them. But they ruined it. They messed it up. So now their life is going to be chaotic. Because spirit is trying to teach this person to see things from a different perspective so that they can evolve. But this person, they refuse to evolve. So no wonder they're going to have to do this another lifetime. They're going to have to repeat this lifetime. Mm, 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 mm. Spirit is not satisfied with what this person has been doing. They are majorly distracted. They're not even open to their soul purpose. They're not even open to it. Why is unable to receive forgiveness here? Why is that here? Why is unable to receive forgiveness here, spirit? So we have the, t they did too much. This reading is deep, Sagittarius. This person did so much to the point where they're not even, I feel like, don't get me wrong, God is a forgiving God. Spirit is very forgiving. But this person has done so much to the point where like, uh-uh, to the point where spirit is like, uh-uh, you're just going to have to repeat this lifetime because you've done too much. You've done entirely too much to this person that you were supposed to love, this person that you were supposed to do your mission with. They've done too much. And at the same time, they're still doing too much. They have way too much going on. Way too much going on. That's why their gifts are blocked. And spirit knows this person's not going to change anytime soon. They're going to have to go through some type of huge spiritual awakening that's going to bring them to rock bottom. Because see, this person... They use their gift of gab to try to get over on people, to sell dreams and this, that, and the other. This person's a complete liar. They live in an illusion. They're not even open, open to seeing the truth or to seeing their soul purpose. So not only is this person getting karma because of what they did to you, they're also getting karma because they're completely lost. Like they, they, this person has completely fumbled the ball. They've done too much. This is really sad. They've done too much. And at this point, spirit is like, we're not going to give you your gifts back. 
because you've done too much. You've done too much damage. You know, even with this person holding, like their head is down. So this person, like they're not even seeing where they're messing up at. Why is drama here, spirit? For the karma that this person is experiencing. Okay, so we have the King of Cups and we also have the Fool card. So I feel as though they're going to start something new with someone that's going to bring a lot of drama to their life. Okay, they're going to, they may end up realizing that this person is married and they're going to regret getting involved with this person. So there's going to be some type of justice served here. Ooh, they're going to get involved with someone that's already involved and it's going to bring a lot of drama to their life. There may even be a fight. There may even be a fight. Even with this paranoia, they may be paranoid about getting their ass kicked. Excuse me for cursing. Because they may be dealing with someone that already has someone. Someone's married. So they're either dealing with someone that's already married or they're going to get involved with someone that's already married. And they're, they're going to end up regretting it. Hmm. This person's very conflicted on an emotional level. Very conflicted. Why is constant reminders here, Spirit? Why is that here? Why is constant reminders? Okay. They're, <laughs> this person is constantly going to be reminded of what they did to you. Okay. Of the hurt that they caused you. And the reason why they're going to be reminded of that and they're going to regret it is because they're going to see you glowing up regardless. You're going to be fine. And spirit is literally going to be blessing you in this person's face. They're going to see your glow up. They're going to see it. Spirit's going to make sure they see it. Okay. And they're going to be heartbroken about it. They're going to be heartbroken. So you are going to be a constant reminder of the... A constant reminder for this person of what they could have had. And also, they're going to have a constant reminder of how they treated you because they're going to constantly end up single. This is a mess. This is deep, Sagittarius. It's way deeper than hurting you. You know, hurting you is, they, they messed up with that. Don't get me wrong. But the reason why this is so deep is because this person had a mission with you. And they fumbled the ball. They messed up. You evolved. You guys are gifted. You evolved. This person didn't. They didn't. They got stuck. They got lost. And they're not even trying to see their way through. Spirit is very dissatisfied, very disappointed in this person. That's why they're going to have to repeat this lifetime. They're going to have to repeat it because they're not learning any of their lessons. And Spirit is saying, no, we're not going to forgive this person and give their gifts back because they did too much. This person did entirely too much. Sagittarius, cross watchers, whoever. You are blessed and highly favored, okay? And spirit doesn't take this lightly of what this person did to you. They're going to also be in debt because their money's going to be up and down. Whenever they get involved in relationships, they're going to be juggled. People are not going to take them seriously, okay? They're going to always be paranoid about something going wrong, always paranoid about conflicts. They're going to constantly be reminded of how they did you because you're going to be fine without them and spirit's going to bless you in their face. They're going to get left in every relationship they get into and it looks like they got an ass whooping coming from somebody's husband or wife because there's going to be some drama in regards to someone they start something new with. Hmm. Ooh, let me go. Let me go. All right, so Sagittarius and or cross watchers, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care, be safe. Until next time, bye.